I would like to welcome the last speaker for this opening plenary before we get into the real business. Uh, please welcome the head of DFID. Good morning. As Namaya said, before we get into the real business, um, I think I've got about uh, three minutes. Um, I think it's probably appropriate that uh, at a business event uh, that a civil servant should have the shortest speech. Okay, thanks to, to Mazinga, thanks to James um, Namaya, thank you very much. Um, welcome to the most important guests here, the 60 semi-finalists, uh, but recognizing also members of the business community, uh, members of the media, distinguished guests, uh, all protocols observed. I think all protocols observed might have been a British introduction. Uh, so I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> I have lived with it for three years I've been here. Um, I'm going to start with a small thought from my own family on wealth creation. Now, I, I did um, cover this uh, a few weeks ago uh, at an event uh, with members of business community uh, and another bank uh, operating in Zambia. Uh, so with Mazinga's uh, tolerance, uh, I will uh, go through it again. I repeat it because it's true because uh, it's relevant for today uh, and because I like the idea uh, that I get greater value for money out of the story if I use it at two public events. Uh, as a Scotsman, you'll be aware that we have a reputation uh, for looking for value for money. So as it happens, my grandfather uh, was a banker. Um, my father was a, a trained economist uh, and my mother was a businesswoman. Sounds like the beginning of a joke, but it's in fact true. Um, when I was quite young, it became clear to me that in my mother's view, um, her father played with other people's money, uh, husband talked a lot about money, uh, but she alone actually made money. So you can probably guess what she thought about her first son becoming a civil servant. And the point is, who matters most when growing an economy and making jobs? Watching the passion my mother brought to the business, as well as the long hours she brought to the business, I had no doubt. So, I'm here today in my official role uh, because one of the UK's priorities for our work in Zambia is to promote inclusive growth uh, and job creation. Uh, we do this primarily through uh, the Department for International Development, uh, which I head up here in Zambia, um, and support for Namuka Zambia uh, under the Private Enterprise Program. Now, as you know, much of Zambia's economic growth has been driven by copper mining and related businesses. But the benefits have not reached all Zambians, it would be fair to say. The nation has a young and growing population. Uh, the latest from the World Bank uh, a couple of months ago indicates that 1,000 young people join the labor market every single day in Zambia. It's an extraordinary figure. And that should matter to all of us, including people like me, because depending on the work available, that can be a fantastic opportunity, uh, but it can also be a threat. So we firmly believe that entrepreneurs and small businesses like many of you, most of you attending here today, should be the driving force behind Zambia's economic growth, for the benefit of all in this country. You have the greatest potential to create the jobs that are needed. The 60 semi-finalists here with us today are all inspiring entrepreneurs with great ideas, ranging from food trucks to laboratory services, from sweet potato processing, to IT for e-learning, from biogas to fish farming. This range of ideas shows a real appetite for diversification by addressing market needs and with local resources. And these great ideas come from both women and men, from young and old, and importantly, from across the country. This year, 75% of the semi-finalists are 35 or under, and 35% of them are women, which is a good figure, but one I hope we can improve on. So, as we heard, 
previous winners from 2015 and 2016 are forging ahead, growing their businesses, creating jobs. And you, this year's semi-finalists, will soon be joining them in supporting Zambia's growth, for which I thank you. This conference is another great example of why we support Namuka Zambia. I'm really excited about today's event because it brings together the seasoned and experienced business people with those who are just beginning their entrepreneurial journey. Further, it provides everybody, not just the semi-finalists, with an opportunity to learn from each other. Please take it up. To challenge each other, as has been indicated, some challenge is never a bad thing, and to inspire each other, possibly the most important element. So ladies and gentlemen, I said to keep it short, so in conclusion, I'd like to thank you all, not least the entrepreneurs who'll be sharing their entrepreneurial journey with us, and the semi-finalists for having the courage to embark on this journey. Um, while I strongly suspect that not all Chinese proverbs are actually Chinese, um, here's one I particularly like. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Thank you. <laughs>